Check, check, one, two, one, two, one, two. Coming through. <laughs> New system. New system in place. New system. New system. In fact, this is my third backup system. I usually have three backup systems for everything that I do. Why? I don't know why. I guess I have experience in life of a lot of things that just don't fucking work. <laughs> so it's necessary to have a back up plan. I hear some people say that I don't have a plan B because because I need my plan A to work I don't want any distractions I don't know it just kinda sounds a bit silly to me have a have a main plan but don't <laughs> don't put all your eggs in one basket as they say so, um, I have my main phone for recording audio, I have my backup phone for recording audio, and I have my tablet for recording audio. I have three different Skype systems in my office in case one goes down. Of course, if the whole internet goes down, then uh, there's not much I can do about that. Some things are out of my control, but I control what I can control. Control what you can control, get on with it, don't worry about the rest. <laughs> if it's raining, it's raining, that's it. So, the amazing ridiculousness that that I have to deal with in the morning things like putting my phone on to charge at night and getting up in the morning and realizing the phone is not charged well that's that's just that's just outrageous that's just outrageous they tell you something else that's outrageous the ba <laughs> the the bank one of the, the banks that I bank with is doing a calculation for the mortgage for my house because I'm trying to sell the house and the very day that they do the calculation is the very day that for some reason money doesn't transfer from one account to another account it doesn't appear it is actually transferred it's transferred where does it go where does the money go for the 48 hours that it's not in account A and it's not in account B? Oh, some, they didn't teach me about that in school, did they? They didn't teach me about the little financial manipulations that go on. Huh? Where does the money go for that period of time? Why does nobody care? Oh, they pretend to be all precise about their calculations and their movements and the numbers and the figures and the percentages and the averages and their risk assessments. But they're not, are they? They're just not. So, the ridiculousness that, that I have to deal with is unbelievable. So I'm trying to use a. <laughs> I'll get. I'll get round to tell you why I'm trying to use a second system this morning. And I have to check and see if it's working. It appears to be working. Well, we'll find out soon enough, won't we? So. Uh. Yeah. So I. I. I plug in. Oh, I didn't finish the story, did I? You see, all over the place. The story is that the. 
that the very day the bank decides to do the mortgage calculation is the very day that the money does not appear in the account even though it's transferred the very day there's only one day in my entire life that I have not transferred I mean I didn't even do anything wrong it's not that I didn't transfer the money I transferred the money it just didn't appear in the other account the very day that they make the calculation is the very day that the money does not appear. What are the chances of that? What are the, you know, if you take a, the odds of that, what are the odds of that happening? That must be like a billion trillion to one. And it's not just some casual thing like you go to the shop to buy milk and there's no milk. It's a mortgage calculation. And then the bank complains that, oh, you've gone over your overdraft. I'm like, what? Even though I've done nothing wrong, all the systems in place actually make it appear as if I've done something wrong. And I imagine that they'll find me as a result because that's what they do. They, they screw the little people to get as much out of them as possible because the little people can't fight back because they're the little people and they're the big people. And they have their system full of nice people, nice brain-dead people in their system who will do everything that they're told to do like good little soldiers. So I was, yeah, I was in the bank the other day and I was trying to get this, <laughs> I was pl we were planning to get this calculation delivered and the woman in the bank said, would you like the calculation to be sent to the bank here or sent to your, sent to your home address? And I said, um, I said, yeah, can you send it to the home address because it's easier for us. And the woman said, "Right. So what we'll do is we'll send it. We'll send. We'll get the calculation sent to the bank here, and you can come and pick it up." And I said, uh, "Excuse me. Could you possibly send it to our home address because uh, it's a little bit easier for us?" And the woman said, "Yeah, of course, no problem. So we'll get the we'll get the information sent here, and then we'll um, we'll call you, and <laughs> you can come." And so I said, uh, so, <laughs> so, so I said, is 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 there any possibility that you could actually, you know, s send it directly to us? <laughs> the woman said, Yeah, sure, you can come and pick it up here any time. I just. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's two worlds collide, right? Uh, <laughs> it, I don't know. Um, I've talked about this before. It's like, how do these people function? They have families. Their kids are in school. They know how to cook. They know how to put the clothes on. They go to the cinema. They they can use Facebook <laughs> I don't know I don't I don't get that right so uh, it's the same thing in a coffee shop the other day as well I'd like my coffee like this and the woman kind of had this glazed bagel look on her face and uh, And and so I repeated, you know, I'd like the coffee, like, uh, you know, I don't want extra water. I don't want extra hot water in the coffee. I want you to run the coffee through the machine for longer because I like that, that uh, strong, long, what do the Italians call it? What do they call it? I don't know. I don't speak Italian. I think somebody told me it's called a lungo doppio or something like that. I, I don't know. that. That that could just mean I've smoked weed with a bear. I don't know what that means. So 
so anyway um, so I order and I double check my order with the girl and of course when the coffee comes it's coffee with extra hot water exactly the thing that I didn't order I swear the brain has a switch. I swear the brain has an, an on-off switch, or maybe a series of on-off switches, where people go into robot mode. I was the same. I was the same when I was a student, though, because because I had this uh, cafe job, cafe bar job, and people would. You would repeat the same activity again and again on a daily basis. And you would just stop li listening after a while. I remember people gave me these orders, and they were really simple orders. You know, the food and the drinks. and I'd get, I'd get them wrong. Like, they'd, they'd order a bottle of wine, I'd forget to bring them a bottle of wine, just because I had gone into robot mode. But at least I knew it, and at least I was frustrated and unsatisfied with myself as a result. Talking about weird stuff, it was 9 degrees when I got in the car yesterday morning. Or it was 9 degrees on the way to work, it might have been 8 when I got in the car. It was 9 degrees when I drove home yesterday evening. It's now 9 degrees again. It's like the temperature just hasn't moved for 24 hours. That's weird as well. Observations. Observe. Observations. To serve. Anyway. So... So, I know, look, a couple of weeks ago I noticed my phone wasn't charging properly at night. Which is dangerous because my alarm is connected to it. And you want the alarm to go off in the morning so that you get up, right? Even though, I'm sure you've had that experience where you wake up a few seconds or a minute before your alarm goes off. Isn't that weird? Like your body seems to know the time. Like your mind seems to have its own internal alarm clock there. How does that work? And when is sleep really sleep if that's happening? Are you really unplugged, switched off? Is there something else going on with time? Hmm. Remember, there is such a thing as time, but clocks are an artificial construct. Yeah, I get it. That might be nice, but you can't really apply that in a useful way in your life. I understand. I understand. So, um... So I plug my, so I order these, so the phone's not charging properly. So I order these extra cables to make sure the phone uh, charges properly because I, I figure it's the cables. And, uh, and I, I plugged my phone in last night when I got home. I got home late last night. I rushed home from work so that I could spend time with my kids and my family and have a bit of relax. And uh, everyone was asleep. Everyone was in bed asleep when I got home. You should have got home earlier. Okay, thank you very much. I can hear that voice in the back of my head, but what is the point? What is the point of rushing home 
as early as you can do it. If everyone is just going to be fast asleep. I don't 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 get me wrong, I don't decry anybody there. Just full rewards at the end of the day, but <sighs> Yeah, but what is it I could have stayed in the office for an extra two hours and got an extra two hours work done if I'd known that people were gonna just be like knocked out when I got home. What's the point in coming home to no one to talk to? No one to communicate with? What is the point? That's frustrating. And then you're creeping around the house trying not to wake anybody up, right? Try not to. You can't turn on the lights in the rooms in case the light wakes people up. So you you use your you use your phone. Use the lights in the phone to kind of wander around the house and find the things that you need to find to do the things that you need to do. So. So that was last night. I always kind of rush home and. It was late, it was late, but I got home as early as I could. Just to sit at the kitchen table and muse to myself. Oh, why didn't you read a book or, you know, get some... Because some, uh, I didn't go home to read a book, that's why. Bah. So, anyway... Back to the point. So, after creeping around and doing all the things, I plug my phone in and decide the best thing to do is go to bed a bit early and try to get some extra sleep, which doesn't help because I woke up with a headache. But also, I woke up when my alarm went off. When my alarm went off, I checked my phone and it said, Two two percent energy left in the phone, even though I had plugged it in the night before. Two percent energy. First of all, it's kind of lucky that there's, <laughs> there's any energy there at all. So I'm kind of lucky that the alarm went off at all. So I'm kind of lucky that I'm on track at all today. But then why? Why why that and, and, and why like that? And also there are so many other things connected to um connected to our phones, right? Like I plan to uh do a few different things this morning which will mean that I, I'll be out of the office and I can't charge my phone anywhere. So it's it's dead. The phone is dead, which is why I have to use my my backup Sony, which is not really a phone because it doesn't have the chip in it. I just use it as a computer now because technology has moved so fast that my phone can do more than my desktop to a certain extent. Yes. Good morning to the slow people driving in the fast lane. What is your problem, people? And I'm not... I'm, I'm not even going fast in the fast lane. I'm going moderately quickly. Which is forcing me to, to brake extra hard, which reminds me that I have to take the car to the garage later today <coughs> to get them to check the brakes because 
because it's getting all a bit Chuggington. <laughs> and work that one out for yourself. Yeah, going even slower. Yes, that's right. What are you? What are you? You, uh, you, uh, you're actually going slower. And so finally, you've looked in your mirror and realized you are the slowest car on the road this morning. It's always in. It's always a woman or a fat man. Apart from when it's not. <laughs> You can't make generalizations like that. It's not a generalization, it's an observation. So, and then, so, the alarm goes off this morning, and, and I, I hit the snooze button because I just feel like hitting the snooze button for another 10 minutes, which is dangerous. You know that the discipline involved in not hitting the snooze button can be the difference between success and failure in your day. Is anyone even aware of that? Is it just me that thinks of stuff like that? It's, it, it's not. Th it, it's it's true. It's true. So I get out of bed, get to the phone because I can't keep the phone next to the bed. Because if I keep the phone next to the bed, I I get up and switch it off without even waking up. Which is like, how does that even happen? Nothing quite as comforting as sleep. If you can get a good night's sleep, that is. I remember talking about... That's the, so I'm speeding up, and you're speeding up as I try to overtake you. You're an idiot. Right. You know, it sticks in the back of my mind what one of my, one of my students died last year died uh, I'm not sure if she died from cancer or from the treatment for the cancer I think the treatment killed her they gave her that radiation therapy which it's kind of like sticking your body in a blender and turning it on full speed and hoping for the best That's a bad analogy. It's a really gross analogy, isn't it? I don't know. It's like climbing inside a microwave. That would be a better one. You're crossing your fingers, turning it up full blast. And I, I remember in one of our last meetings, she was sitting in the office, and we were talking in that kind of peaceful way that people who are dying talk. They don't talk with some kind of urgent panic. They they talk as if each breath is a is a blessing. And I remember her talking about how she wished she could have just a just a night sleep without pain. That she would wake up in the middle of the night in pain and it was uncomfortable and uh and how much she just wished for a night where she could she could put her head down on the pillow and not feel pain or not wake up during the night in pain because then she didn't get a good night's sleep and if you don't get a good night's sleep you 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 can't do a good day's work as a result 
So anyway, back to the alarm clock. So so I uh, so when I when I hit the snooze button, I didn't stop to check the uh, if the phone was charged, because. Because why would I? Because I charged it. Because I plugged it in the night before. I went back into bed. And I was lying there in bed. And I thought, this is stupid. I need to get up. So I so I got up out of bed. And went to the phone. And and uh, picked up the phone. And it, that was when I realized that it was only on 3% charge. 2% charge. Whatever. If I, I had gone back to sleep, the phone would have turned off and I wouldn't have got up at all. So how bizarre is that? As if the mind... As if the universe was talking to me. And telling me... That I needed to get up. And face the challenges of the day it was telling me to get up and have my coffee and have my shower put my clothes on and get my ass hit together I get the feeling that the universe <laughs> knows what's going on much much better than than we know as people and then having to deal with all of those little things that we that we have to deal with that we need to deal with during the day so I need to check this machine is doing its job. Seems to be working still. Right, it's telling me I have 164 hours of uh, recording time. <laughs> That's almost enough. That's almost enough. So today I'm going to be all over the place. It's never easy, is it? It's never easy anymore. Go here, go there, do this, do that. Ah. I'm going to go to the pool and try to disconnect before I get on with anything else today. I guess that's it. Whatever was on my chest is now off my chest. This was Drivecast. <laughs> yeah. Keep it real. <laughs> Whatever that means. Speak to you soon.